Hi, my name is Keith Mazza. Most of you know me as Sifu Keith. Welcome to our channel. Hello everybody, Sifu Keith here, and today's video is based on butterfly swords. Today we'll be taking you through some basic butterfly sword technique, some basic blocking and footwork techniques. These techniques will also help you with your empty hand training. But before we get there, I need you to click the buttons to like and subscribe and hit the bell to always to make sure you're kept up to our latest videos. Remember to train hard, train daily. Have a nice day. Pakdo off the lead hand is like Paksa from our Wing Chun system. You extend from the elbow, drive through, and the blocking surface is right above the hilt whereas this is the strongest area on the sword from which you can block. On the other side, Pak Dao off the lead hand, once again driving forward from the elbow, your point of contact is just above the hilt. Lop Dao off the Wu Sa hand. Here we'll apply a release step and the lop goes in the center. Using the lop down in this manner, you would catch your opponent's sword and pull it forward. Once again, this is Lop Dao on the neutral side. Return the opposite side, release step, Lop Dao's in the center. Here we imply the Fat Dao with a release step. Starting from the side neutral, turn, release step, Fat Dao. Just like Fat Sao swings the arm out to the side, here we use it in conjunction with the Pak Dao. So once again, release, face my point of contact, Pak Dao along with the Fat Dao. Other side, release, Pak Dao, Fat Dao. Again, release. Here, the Fat Dao is a central line block and the Pak Dao is on the center. From right side neutral, the lead hand comes across, take a release step into a gondo. From here, the low hand will come up and set up the gondo. So here the low hand comes up, gondo, low hand comes up, gondo, low hand comes up, lead hand sweeps across, low hand will come up, lead hand sweeps across, this is the gondo. The Grundao, here we take a release step. Lead arm is Bondao, rear hand is Tandao. Once again, lead hand is Bondao, rear hand is Tandao. In application, the Tandao drops, moves to outside, and becomes Bondao. Here, Tandao drops, release step, Bondao. Tandao drops, release step, Bondao. Tandao drops, release step, Bondao. Try to practice this at least 20 times on each side to gain proficiency. From a right front stance, we'll release and the rear hand goes to Tan Dao. As you can see, the sword resembles the Tan Sao. The translation to this is dispersing block. So here, we apply a release step and a Tan Dao. In practice, you can use the lead hand to strike simultaneously. Here we're just demonstrating for block purposes. Opposite side, release step, Tan Dao. Here, once again, the Tan Dao is used off the Wu Sao hand, the guarding hand. You can practice this block off of both sides. Naturally, if you use the lead hand, you release off the back foot. Once again, this is the Tan Dao. Take release step as the lead arm comes across and presses out. This is Lan Dao. The swords are lined up vertically, one on top of the other. Here, the low sword comes up and sets up the next technique. As you can view, the swords are one on top of each other in a vertical position. Here, instead of releasing, we will step toward the block. So once again, low sword comes up, step in, Lando. Low sword comes up, step in, Lando. As with all the blocks, try to practice each one a minimal of 20 times to start to gain proficiency.
To cheat, though, is a horizontal slicing technique. Remember, it's an edge weapon, so it's a soft weapon. So as you apply the slicing technique, you will drag your blade across the body. Once again, this is cheat, though, at the side, applying it with a release step. Remember to let the weapon do the work. Do not have to hack with it, just slice across. Charm Dao, downward slice. The blade falls forward and down. Remember, the edge weapon is soft, so let the blade do the work as you drag it down the opponent. The Charm Dao is a very good exercise also to develop your Pak Do and your Lop Do. The butterfly swords in general are great for your short power movements, your Pak and your Lop, or your short blocking movements. In the Tong Dao, the lead hand is going to block, the rear hand checks, and then the lead hand slices. So the lead hand is going to both block and slice, while the rear hand will check. The Tong Dao are your figure eight slicing movements. Here is demonstrated in an upward manner. So this is the upward Tong Dao. The eight basic targets are the wrist, elbow, knee, and ankle. For each side, make the eight basic thrusts up. Next, we have cutting to the throat. Thrust to the stomach, drag down to the genitalia. Thrust, drag to the right to attack the liver. Thrust, drag to the left to attack the stomach and spleen. When using the butterfly sword, you can slice thrust. You can punch with the hilt, attack with the hook, or slap using the back of the blade. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And when you hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell notification to all so we can let you know as soon as we put out a new video. And we want you to know that we're here for you. So leave your comments below. We're going to get back to each and every one of you to make sure your questions get answered. And once again, thank you. We look forward to being your all things Wing Chun and more for many years to come.